Hey everyone, welcome to another episode on the DIY Garage Electrics project. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to wire a fuse spur. A fuse spur provides a permanent flex connection to an appliance such as an extractor fan or for a cable to a lighting sub-circuit. In this episode, the fuse spur provides a cable connection to the indoor lighting circuit that is protected with a 5 amp fuse. Let's get started. There are three cables in the surface box. The three core 1.5 mm squared cable is wired to the light switch. The steel wired armor three core 2.5 mm squared cable is the supply cable from the boiler shed socket. And the second three core 2.5 mm squared cable is wired to the indoor socket in the garage. Remove the cover screws from the spur unit and open the terminal screws with a flathead screwdriver. The terminal screws are opened 80% to allow the copper cores to be inserted into each terminal. Use a wire stripper to remove the outer insulation from each core. Strip 20mm of insulation of each core. The wire stripper has several notches that corresponds to various gauges or cross-sectional areas. To strip the wire, first identify the gauge of the wire you plan to strip by comparing it to the guide along the wire stripper. Then place the tip of the wire into the jaws of the wire stripper for the appropriate space for its gauge. Close the wire strippers along the wire so that it cuts through the wire's exterior sheeting. Then, with the jaws of the wire stripper still closed, pull the sheeting off the end of the wire. Cut exposed copper to correct length and twist copper strands with the pliers to give a solid connection to electrical terminals. For the light cable cores, bend the exposed copper into a U-shape. The U-shape will give a greater surface area to allow a solid electrical connection to the spur terminal screw. Use this technique when you're connecting a single core to a terminal on the spur switch. Connect the light cable cores to the load terminals, which are live, neutral and earth. Brown core is connected to the live load terminal. Blue core is connected to the neutral load terminal. Green and yellow core is connected to the earth terminal. Carefully place the exposed copper core into the terminal and tighten the screw with an insulated screwdriver to secure core to terminal. Verify that the copper is securely connected to the terminal and the insulation is clear from the screw connection. If the insulation is in contact with the screw terminal, adjust the screw until only the exposed copper core is connected. Connect the steel wired armor cable cores and the socket cable cores to the supply terminals, which are live, neutral and earth. Brown cores are connected to the live sub supply terminal. Blue cores are connected to the neutral supply terminal. Green and yellow cores are connected to the earth terminal. Check all cores are securely terminated by pulling each individual core. If there is a loose core, 
open the screw terminal and re-tighten with the insulated screwdriver. Push cores carefully into surface box and screw spur switch into position with screws. Remove the fuse cover with a flat head screwdriver and insert a 5 amp fuse into the holder. The fuse protects the indoor lighting sub-circuit. That's how to wire a fuse spur for a lighting circuit. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. More videos to follow on this project. And thanks for watching.